Hello. Today we are going to talk about August Wilson's play Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. If you're not familiar with the main character of the play, or I should say the title character of the play, Ma Rainey, Ma Rainey was a blues musician from the 1920s. She is originally from this area where I am right now. I'm currently in Georgia. And over here in Georgia, uh, it's a beautiful country. She was from Columbus, Georgia. I'm in Covington, Georgia, which is not far from Atlanta. Uh, if you can see in the backgrounds, there's pine trees, there are uh, oak trees, uh, some maples, and all sorts of stuff out here. You might even be able to hear some of the birds chirping out uh, in the background, giving us some noise. Uh, so. This is the land where Ma Rainey had lived, and this is the land where she had grown up, as well as uh, many of her ancestors also grew up in this area. Uh, originally, of course, she's from Africa. Uh, her family was part of the African slave trade and uh, came over uh, to this land uh, through the African slave trade. Uh, family was enslaved, of course, and then after the Civil War was over, Civil War ended slavery, and with the end of slavery, we had this period called Reconstruction. And Reconstruction is uh, it's an incredible period in American history that's uh, been understudied uh, for years and has only recently uh, has only recently started to get a new light. Uh, but it was a period after the Civil War where we had these governments, multiracial governments, often black governments, in areas that were majority black, and they represented the people uh, that were here. This lasted for roughly... Uh, about maybe 15 to 20 years, depends on the city uh, and the area that you're in. Uh, and when Reconstruction ended, it was a major blow for black progress in uh, this country. And what came in its place were a lot of these racist governments, uh, and in particular, the Jim Crow governments. Uh, and the Jim Crow governments were ones that enforced racial segregation. This didn't happen in one day, but it happened over a period of time, uh, 10, 20, 30 years, where new laws would come in place uh, that, uh, that really led to a... Uh, it led to incredible discrimination, disenfranchisement, and humiliation, frankly, you know, of African Americans in this area, uh, but also intense racial violence. I use that term a lot when we're discussing these periods, but it there's really no other way to describe this outside of intense racial violence and terrorism uh, is what took place in areas uh, such as the area where I am right now. So as a result, a lot of African Americans left the Deep South, left the home, left the areas, these beautiful lands uh, where uh, they had lived for generations, had plowed the, plowed the earth, had had built uh, the structures, built the roads, et cetera, and left, uh, which must have been incredibly hard, uh, on what is called the Great Migration. If you have the opportunity, there's a, an incredible book called The Warmth of Other Suns, and it's a history of the Black Migration out of the South and throughout the country. Uh, it's written by Isabel Wilkerson. Uh, and one of the areas where a lot of African Americans left uh, was up to Chicago, which is where our story takes place in Chicago. So I wanted to show you this, uh, to show you some of this background over here. It's not like you haven't seen this uh, or haven't seen these areas, but I feel it's important to be able to somehow reconnect or to uh, to connect with the, uh, with the areas and the land so you can see some of the background in the story. While this comes up indirectly at some points and directly, uh, and other points of the story. This is not only Ma Rainey's uh, background, uh, but it was also the background of a lot of the characters in this story. Because remember, this is taking place in the 1920s. 1920s is not that far removed from uh, from the days of slavery. So characters in the story would have either grown up in this period of uh, of enslavement and had been around in the periods right afterwards. So this is part of their stories, if not directly them, then their parents and certainly their grandparents. So this is a a, a, a direct connection to this land and to, uh, to this history and is some of the setting that helps us better understand the story. So uh, when they get to Chicago, uh, the characters in the story, then you know, the, the then the play ensues. So if you haven't read a play before, just a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, plays are a little different than 
uh, than novels, a little different than books, mostly because what you're reading is the dialogue. Uh, and you also get the dialogue, but then you get some of the background uh, stories, like what I'm discussing right now, but you also get some of the character developments. It's important that you read all of that. Uh, what I would suggest you do is you read over it first, go through the characters, understand their backgrounds, uh, and then understand where they're coming from. Get to know their names a little bit. So, and then look over the page, look over the scene and the act, and then see who's coming in where so you can better follow the dialogue a little bit easier. And then you can get into the flow of it. Plays for a lot of people are difficult to, to read because honestly, they're not meant to be read. August Wilson wrote this play in 1982 and it premiered on Broadway in 1984. And it's set in the 1920s. So you have a little bit of a, a leap that you have to go into. You know, recently, there was a film made for Netflix uh, that's based on the play. Uh, and uh, this is the story of another story. And this is a story of a recording of the song Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, which took place in 1927, or the record came out in 1927. Uh, uh, one crucial thing I do want to re uh, uh, remind you, though, that while this is based on true events, this isn't exactly what happened in, in real life. Uh, we don't know exactly the story that took place with the recording, but we can imagine that very similar discussions and similar instances may have happened. So I just want to give you some of that background uh, with the story. Uh, so when you go into reading it, you'll have a little bit of a history. Uh, and one last uh, suggestion, tip if you can, if you get some friends together and read the play, that would be great. Uh, that You may be reading this in an online class, uh, you know, for my online class, and uh, that's fantastic, you know, but if you can get some people together as a study group and just read the play out loud, maybe get another copy of it make some copies yourself find it online if it's available online uh and then read the play out loud uh, to each other reenact the play uh if possible that's the best way to see these best way to act and act it in uh, be able to hear it out loud because that's the way a play is meant to be uh, meant to be heard like poetry it's meant to be heard it's meant to be seen uh, and that's part of the experience with us so I hope you enjoy the play and I hope you enjoy the work and uh, yeah go outside and and read uh, read the story of Ma Rainey's uh, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom it's an incredible incredible piece of work by August Wilson thank you